Hi, my name is Jen Shorten, and I'm going to walk you through a demo today of an activity-based intelligence solution using MarkLogic. 90% of intelligence data gathered is never looked at. In today's ISR space, uh, the volume and the rate of data that's being collected has grown exponentially, while the resources available to process it, um, the analyst community itself, has not actually grown as quickly. And the result of that is that a lot of data lays largely unexploited. We're collecting volumes and volumes and volumes of different and interesting data, but we're unable to exploit it. One of the answers uh, it, that is hoped one of the hopeful answers is the ability to exploit artificial intelligence. There's been a lot of interest and a lot of investment in this space. There are numbers of mature algorithms from both academia and industry that are currently available. And the goal is to be able to use AI to solve those problems. It sounds like it should be easy, like it should be magic. You are collecting all of this data anyway. Why not just feed it to the artificial intelligence algorithm and boom, results will come out all perfect and whatnot. The reality, though, is that exploiting AI is actually incredibly difficult, both on the data preparation uh, and so at the beginning of the AI process, the algorithm themselves need to be fed data um, that is uh, cleaned and curated and it is in a format that they recognized. And also the ability to actually uh, um, exploit the results of the AI algorithm also require a new set of skills acquisition that we're currently lacking in the analyst community. And the combination of the data preparation challenges and the need to acquire new skills means that the cost and the, the cost of delivery AI is incredibly high and the barriers are incredibly high. We believe that um, MarkLogic technology can actually uh, help uh, help actually bring the promise, uh, deliver the promise of AI into your existing um, stack. Uh, so our vision is to enable analysts to actually focus on uh, analyzing the results of this data by automating uh, the feature extraction and automating um, changes across imagery um, that should allow uh, analysts to just focus on looking at those smaller number of images where something interesting has actually happened. And how do we do this? We use a combination of um, cutting edge uh, AI uh, based automatic feature extraction uh, from EarthCube. In this example here, the EarthCube AI has um, detected that there is an aircraft. It has recognized that it's that it's a fighter type of aircraft, and it has then gone ahead and actually identified uh, the aircraft itself. Has identified a lot of information about it. Um, has put and identified its location and its context where it's located. That data being fed to the AI algorithm has been fed from MarkLogic, and the results of that analysis are fed back into MarkLogic. And MarkLogic is able to exploit that data by um, uh, detecting uh, changes between two images. And if the, their changes uh, trigger a rule, uh, we will use our alerting capability to, uh, to alert the analyst to that change. Um, MarkLogic is a flexible multi-model database, and so that allows us to take in the GeoJSON, the image data, the geospatial coordinates, um, uh, and to be able to exploit the data from, to both send the data to the AI and exploit the results of, of the AI uh, algorithm. And the way we make this easy to use is that we're actually leveraging an existing analysis tools and skills. For the demo that I'm going to show you, all the results are displayed in Esri ArcGIS. Um, this is an existing uh, tool set that your staff is probably quite familiar with. And if your staff is able to actually um, interact with the results of AI in their existing uh, analyst tool scale without having to write code, without having to write Python, um, that minimizes the training and upskilling requirements, further reducing the barrier to entry uh, for exploitation of AI uh, in your team. So I am going to switch over to the demo now. 
And what you see here is uh, Arcgis. Um, you see an image of uh, an airfield here. Um, I should say that uh, the image that we used, uh, that we ran through the EarthCube artificial intelligence is a slightly different image. So you might see some inconsistencies in the image, um, uh, but I promise you it's all, it's all happening for real. Um, so in this scenario, we've got uh, an airfield and the, the image of the airfield has been passed to EarthCube for observation and EarthCube AI has actually gone ahead and detected several features and identified them. There are airplanes of fire type on this airfield that are interesting. I'm gonna zoom in here. And this is, uh, if the analyst decides that they are interested in this uh, particular area, they can actually draw a polygon around it. Uh, so this polygon is then sent to MarkLogic. Uh, this shape is sent to MarkLogic. It's stored as a polygon, and that sets a rule. And the rule is, if any uh, detected uh, observable, if any aircraft or other defined type of observable is either found inside or intersects with the polygon, throw an alert. So you see the alert here that's been fired by MarkLogic <clears throat> has actually said, look, there are there is something happening in this particular area of interest to alert the analyst um, that there is something interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to MarkLogic and I'm actually going to load a third aircraft. So what this is simulating is a, a next pass of the of the satellite has gone through, a next image has gone through, um, EarthCube will analyze that image, uh, and then it will send the results of that um, of that analysis back to MarkLogic. And what that shows is there's now a fourth aircraft. So if I actually remove the, the alert layer, you can actually see that a fourth aircraft. And so what that is, is that's alerting the analyst that something of interest has has changed, something has happened, and you need to look at this image. And that is essentially uh, proactively alerting the analyst, please come look at this image, rather than the analyst actually having to look at every satellite pass themselves to see if something has changed. And just like that, in the last few minutes, you've actually seen the result of um, artificial intelligence being pushed all the way up the stack into your existing toolkit. Um, your analysts aren't even necessarily aware that they're interacting with artificial intelligence, but it could be that easy. The combination of sophisticated artificial intelligence, the MarkLogic multi-model geospatial database, and the Esri ArcGIS tools can allow you to actually uh, deliver AI-driven activity-based intelligence all the way up in your existing stack using your existing team and your existing resources. Thank you for listening.